Hi, third graders. This is Mrs. Wright, and today we're going to be focusing on making change. Now let's practice together. Moby bought a pencil for 65 cents. He paid with a dollar bill. How much change should he get back? I want you to draw a number line on your board or paper, and we are going to practice counting up. So we're going to start at 65 cents. And we're going to count up until we get to a dollar. And I'm going to think of that as a hundred cents. Over here, I have room to make a part part whole model. So our largest number is going to be the amount he paid. So our whole is one dollar. One of the parts is how much it actually cost. And the missing part is how much he'll get back. So we're going to figure out that missing part by adding up on the number line. Remember, anytime we're adding on a number line, we are jumping forwards towards the bigger numbers. All right, so it's, this is an open number line. And we're not going to write in every number. We're going to add something to get us to a friendly number. So I am thinking, here's my little arrow. I'm thinking we could add five, five cents to get us to 70 cents. Now, I think we could count by tens. So let's add 10 cents. I want you to follow along, do the same thing on your board. 10 cents more will get us to 80 cents. All right, and then another 10 cents gets us to 90 cents. And let's keep in mind, we're trying to get to 100 cents. So how much more do we need to jump to get to 100 cents? Yeah, just 10 more. This jump is going to look bigger, but it's I'm still just adding 10 cents. Sometimes that happens on open number lines. That's okay. All right, now to figure out our answer, we need to add up all of these jumps. So how much total did we have to add to get to a dollar? Let's see, 10, 20, 30, plus five, 35 cents. And that would be our answer. He would get 35 cents back. 